Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Bow down before your penguin emperor. I mean, there's been an update, and I missed it by a few weeks, but it is a pretty cool update. Perhaps the largest uh, update notes, at least. There isn't um, a tremendous amount of brand new content, but more sort of just a giant amount of quality of life updates. I will, of course, leave patch notes linked in the description if you are curious. There is just so much, so I'm just going to cover sort of the highlights and then let you guys explore the rest because a lot of it is um, very specific. Like, if it's something you've been looking for, you're probably super happy. If it's not, you probably might never use it. Um, for example, they added a chat command that can help you find your death statues easier. That's a very nice thing to add, but uh, it doesn't make a huge difference. They also added a warp feature where you can warp around the map if you turn it on, which is pretty cool. So you can click on the map and, uh, yeah, warp all over the place if you have creator mode turned on, which is very, very cool. But let's talk about uh, my favorite part of the update because I think it's just it's just a chef's kiss of I, um, an addition to the game, and that is this brand new block, the Vending Machine, which is very easy to craft and adds... So much cool stuff to sort of servers on this game. There's the recipe. Here is the interface. Takes a moment. Yeah, so it's a vending machine where you can set up a catalog. So you can actually customize this if you're the creator of the vending machine. And you can actually set up a currency, do a whole exchange, and yeah. It is absolutely incredible. This is so cool. This is something I've sort of wanted in the game for years, um, and I'm so glad it is finally happening. There is some awesome stuff in here, and yeah, just phenomenal, an amazing block to add to the game. They also added a new mob to the game, a nighttime truffle, I believe it is called, and that is very cool, but let's talk about one of the cool things. They added a ton more settings, so this has been completely reworked and has a whole bunch more customization and just really you can get down into the weeds. They added a ton more toggleable, they added a ton more options, um, especially anyone who's into knowing what these things are. Um, they have added just a tremendous amount more, even things like being able to hide the gliding controls is amazing adding celsius i mean they really added just a tremendous amount of stuff and if you click on advanced there is even more so you can really get crazy detailed if uh if you really want to and you can see there's just a tremendous amount you can do um so yeah very very cool i know for some people it won't matter at all for other people it'll be a dream come true to be able to really customize the settings of your game I will say, upon downloading the update and playing a little bit, it does seem like some of my settings were tweaked. Uh, so I did spend a little bit of time playing with it. And there is just so much you can do now. Um, you can get more frame rate, all of that good stuff. So for anyone who's interested in that, it is very, very exciting. They also added four more preset maps if you're creating a new world and uh, all sorts of features with downloading or old worlds. I think it sort of has a better readout now. And to be honest, 150 other phenomenal updates um, that are, are really all just sort of slice of life, just nice things to have. And it's an update that, you know, isn't as flashy as adding a ton of new blocks or anything, but is pretty awesome. They also did add a bunch of uh, the block variants, you know. Um, so yeah, there is new blocks sort of you know, the slab stairs and stuff for some of the uh, blocks that are already out. So there is awesome new stuff. There's the vending machine. I will leave the patch notes in the description if you're curious. Um, if you guys have ones that I left out that you think would be cool to mention, please leave them in the comments because as I was looking through it, I wasn't quite sure which to include and which not to because there is, again, just so many things. Um, so let me know what you guys think of the update in the comments below if there's anything that you think people should know. And uh, yeah, see you guys back in Creativos.